Hello class. Well, surprise, surprise, I'm going to talk about the volcano again. So uh, if you get the University of Hawaii news, here's one. And uh, they, of course, it makes sense. The university is using the active volcano as a teaching tool, right? So uh, some classes are taking uh, field trips out there. And uh, we're also doing some science. So there's doing a lava sample and they're taking it and they're uh, putting them into um, x-ray fluorescent spectroscopy. So what that is, so it's this EDXRF, which is energy dispersion x-ray fluorescence. Uh, and what this does is it bombards a sample of x-rays. There's a couple way, either way, fluorescence happens and you can tell what elements are in the sample and how many of each element is in the sample. So that's the point of doing this. So, uh, and they're taking it at different times. So they're collecting samples right now in the, in the beginning and then like, or like, well, I guess, I don't know where we're at in the eruption, if we're in the middle or the beginning or the end, I don't know, it's hard to say. But um, they're taking the samples of the lava, see what's in it and how much of stuff is in it and they're comparing it at different stages of the eruption and they're also comparing it to Kilauea. So seeing if, if uh, what's happening in Mauna Loa is any different than Kilauea. And this is, I mean, so this is science. We don't know what's going to happen, right? So we're just, we're studying it now and we're going to see what happens. And so it's interesting. And these are some really pretty pictures. So uh, there's also some pretty pictures here. Uh, here's one atop of um, of Mauna Loa, and here's one of uh, Mauna Kea. So, uh, right, the fire and the ice. Uh, actually, for me, if maybe I'm showing my age, but there was a um, a cartoon called uh, Year Without a Santa Claus, and you had the heat miser and the snow miser. So, I kind of see the first thing that came to my mind was uh, that cartoon, especially now it's around Christmas time. So, update where we're at. So, here's the latest update as December 7th. Uh, so the lava flow is still moving towards Saddle Road. It's a little less than two miles. So the last time I, I gave an update, it was a little bit more than two miles, a little less than two miles, and it's moving at 20 feet per hour. So uh, it was it's starting to slow down. Uh, I have a friend who is a geologist, and talking to her, she said, well, it looks like it's slowing down. There's only one fissure, fissure number three. They mentioned that there's just they just named different fissures, and fissure number three is the only one that's spewing lava right now. Um, is it going to stop erupting? Is this the, the beginning? We don't know. Uh, my geologist friend seemed to think that this is probably getting closer to the end. So it's, it seemed to be her opinion. Of course, though, you know, it's, it's not known what's going on. And uh, the sulfur dioxide, so you can, this is, uh, I, I can feel it here on Oahu. And a lot of my friends are feeling it too. We're all feeling a little bit of the respiratory effects. So you can see the amount of salt. Where is it? It's a huge amount. Um, oh, 120,000 tons per day. So that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot, of, a lot of pollution coming out of there, right? So it's amazing uh, how these uh, natural phenomena are just, just huge. And I mean, I talked about it last time. I was just surprised that the... the two kilometer of lava gain in less than an hour. I was like, whew. And uh, I, went on to, I went on a hike this past weekend and I think I gained like 2,000 feet. Well, of course I was going up and down. I went up and down three times and it took me like a couple hours to do that. And I wasn't even close to two kilometers and, and I was sore for two days. So, and this is, this is lava, right? So pretty crazy. So, and as you know, uh, this is, we're near the end. So uh, if you want extra credit, send me uh, just a picture of a screenshot of your uh, uh, completed survey. You know, like, don't show me any of the answers, just show that you've done it kind of thing. And uh, I, I record that. Uh, also, uh, I mean, I'm sure you have other classes. So uh, this is the time that you need to be a little selfish. Okay, so uh, coming up now, we're coming up on the ends, and this is a very stressful time, right? So final exams are a very stressful time. 
I I have it. Well, I'm, it's been a while, so I got my PhD in what 2005, and it's it's uh, it's whatever. So I got it 17 years ago, and so that's the last time I was a full time student. I still have nightmares about final exams. So I mean, final exams are a very stressful time. In fact, I have a reoccurring dream where I like have a class but I blow it off and I randomly come to class one day and it turns out it's the final exam and like I still have this dream and you know I haven't it's it hasn't quite been two decades since I was a full-time student so I mean it's it's a tough time so with that in mind I mean it's okay to be a little selfish you know you don't have to help everyone out uh, you can uh, if you can eat out a little bit more right I mean within within reason I mean if, if that's your thing I mean uh, of course, eating healthy makes you feel better, you know, by all means. But I mean, if you're feeling a little tired, you know, it's okay to, to order that Uber Eats or go buy a pizza. You know, it's okay to, to not see your friends that are coming to visit or, or something like that. You know, it's, that's okay. Uh, be a little selfish, look after yourselves uh, as much as you can. Uh, and then, um, of course, when you're done with finals, then you can go back to, to being, uh, normal, you know, functioning altruism, but you know, like I said, it's, it's okay to be a little selfish, and, and this is to take care of yourselves as you're going through uh, finals. And with all my messages, you know, I hope it finds you well. If you are not doing as well, you know, please let me know, and, and I can connect you up to uh, the various services, uh, and I'll do whatever I can to help you out, okay? So, aloha for now, happy end of the semester, and uh, and best of luck with the rest of your classes. And we still have finals week next week. So, aloha for now.